So today we're going to begin the chapter on investments. And I put a question on the board. So it says that common law, a trustee has a standard of care which has been narrowed by statute, statutory provisions. Discuss the standard of care expected of a trustee and the protection provided under the law. Notice that whenever I write a question, there's always a two-part to it. Mm -hmm. And like I say, students normally answer the first part and forget the second part. So I want you now to try to attempt how you would approach this question. There's my red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How would you approach? Well, first, like what I have here, mm -hmm. I would state the standard of care of a trustee. Um, I mentioned the uh, spite versus, I think, gaunt mm -hmm. case. Um, and I don't know if I could probably explain a little of what happened in that case. Right. So you start out with case law, spite versus gaunt. You'll explain it. And when you explain it, you're going to explain what is the standard of care. Right. Now, when you say we just put standard of care, I just put standard of care for a reason. You know why? Because it's the actual um, to be put trustee. Yes. So, what I want you to say before you go to this case law, I want you to say A. What is that trustee's duty? With regard to the standard of care, what is their duty? Because the standard of care has to do with investments, mm -hmm. but that investment is tied to a particular duty. What is that duty? Remember last week I said all those duties in that chapter, you must know them. So what is this duty when it comes to investments? We know he has a power to invest. But look at his duties. Go back to the chapter with a list of duties. What is his duty? Mm -hmm. But you written them off last week. You have it, it's in the book. You have other, other duties, so that's what I'm saying. All these duties, you have to write all of the trustees' duties out. Because every question refers to a duty or duties. And all ten. Okay, so I'm which duty does this refer to? Invest trust property? Right. Tommy, That's it. There you go. So you start out by saying that trustees have a duty to invest trust property in a timely and authorized manner. So that's the first duty. What other duty is tied to this duty of standard of care?
um, actually in the administration. Yes, that's address. the second one. Any others? The whole idea, the whole idea of investment is what? Number six. The whole, I, the whole idea of a trustee investing the assets is to what? Protect and preserve the trust property. Can you explain that inside the, this one too? Yeah, that's number six. You see why I'm saying you need to know mm -hmm. them? Because it depends on how the question is worded. Then you know how to answer. Because you have to answer each one of his duties. Right. So, so here, specific thing. Right. So this one here is a general question about the standard of care. One is to protect and preserve. This one is to invest. And what's the third one? Um, to act prudently in the administration. Okay. And to act prudently. And you see how they all connect? So then you can go into the standard of care that's required of a trustee was settled in the case of Spite versus Gaunt. And then you explain what that is right here. What, what did they say the standard of care is? You've already stated what the duties are. So then you now speak about what is it that the case law said is expected of a trustee? So you go now back to your chapter. What did it say is expected of a trustee? Um, <clears throat> take such as an ordinary poor man would take if he were under a duty to make the investments for the benefit of other persons or who will be left morally bound to provide. In the case of Lord Watson explained that. As a general rule, the law requires of a trustee no higher degree of diligence in the execution of his office than a man of ordinary prudence who would exercise in the management of his own private affairs. Uh, yet, he is not allowed the same discretion in investing the monies of the trust as if he were a person so jurors dealing with his own estate. Okay, so what does that mean? When you talk about the standard of care of a trustee is that of a prudent man. Mm -hmm. See, I could take this same question right here. And what I just said, do I could form the same words I just used? It's the same question. What is the care of a prudent man? Yes. Wow. I could change it. I'm talking about the same thing. Mm -hmm. So when you explain the case law of a spy versus God, it tells you that he must act as a prudent man. But he has to take a little bit more care than if he was managing his own funds. Right. Because he has to protect and preserve the assets of the trust on behalf of the beneficiaries. And that's key. Good morning. Good morning. So what are you going to tell me next? What are you... Um, What I mentioned, I mean, we just visited in the book, mm -hmm. the case of Lord Watson. Lord Watson, that's not a case. In that same case, that's what he said. Mm. Spike versus Gaunt. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's what he was saying just now. And here is where he will explain what they meant by the standard of care that expected of a trustee. So what are you going to tell me next? Standard of care. Everything is an unseen thing by Lord Watson. 
Okay, so we already made mention that mm-hmm. the he must ask, exercise the affairs as the well as mm-hmm. So, um, act as if he was doing his own, right? Mm-hmm. As if with the same discretion of his honesty. But there's a caveat to that. What's the but? He acts as if he's carrying on his own estate, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. morning, what what? He can't. He's not allowed to use the same discretion. Remember, you may have ten dollars, and you may decide. Guess what? I want to spend my whole ten dollars on this phone. Mm-hmm. If he's managing assets, he's using a prudent mind, but he can't just say, "I'm going to put it all on the phone." He has to decide what's in the best interest. Of the beneficiaries and the trust as a whole to preserve and protect because he has at the end of it based on last week's class he has what <coughs> another duty yeah. everything has to go with duty he has a duty to account whatever you the time that you have to now that that would be your explanation why he can't do what he's doing why he can't just take his money and put it where he wants to put it. He has a duty to account. See where it says, yeah, he is not allowed the same discretion in investing the monies of the trust as if he were a person so dangerous. That's what that means. He can't, he can't just invest it as he sees fit. Then you mentioned the duty. Um, they say duty of the trustee to confine himself to the class of investments, mm-hmm. which are permitted by the trust, and likewise to avoid all investments right. of that class. So when you say here, yes, he has to act like a prudent man managing his own estate, but he has to act within the terms of the trust for the benefit of the beneficiaries and the trust as a whole. She's answering this question. You could do the next one. And then she'll do the third one. You Yeah, we have the data ready. Just one. Just one. <coughs> Put it together. No, I, I. You did it. Yeah, but yeah, I want she did it. It's rough. <laughs> I want to know if yeah, I was all right. right. Okay. I want to know what too much for them. So the question like that is like how many points? Which one? This one? No, the one you gave us last week. Ten. Ten points? Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know. I should ask for mm-hmm. that last. Mm-hmm. I should ask for that last. Week. I think I might have put in more than I needed. Okay, we'll see. You may think so. But not. She, she thought so too, but she realized, yes, that no, she wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> she realized that too, so she had two pages. Mm-hmm. Three hours. <coughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's mm-hmm. a, what are the tips? Tell them the tips I gave you to answer any sound questions. Draw out the information step by step on the scrap piece of paper 
so that way you when you when she says you only have like 15 minutes left, you know that your stuff is already bullet point out on the side, you could just put the put in. Put the pen. Rather than leaving a question <coughs> out. And don't mm-hmm. always go for the easiest question. No. <laughs> And also, everything that she's giving us for the review, um, so practice it, so that you know when you put each other's down, you know that this is what you just practice. Don't go for the one that you think is easiest, and when you didn't practice it, just get the thumb. You know that part, eh? Yeah. Because I told her, I told her this is a question here. Okay. And tell them how I explain. I can give you the same question with different mm-hmm. words. Right. What do I say? I can say. You can say that. Um, explain the the prudent man. Mm-hmm. The prudent. Yeah, the prudent man has something to do with the sun. You know. Right. Mm-hmm. She told. She made. I can't remember the exact word, but she may mention that to explain the duty of, of the prudent man or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's the same question as this. Yeah. Okay. Just so you have to know. So that's what I'm saying. If if we go over questions. Like this question, I'm going over this. You may just word it differently. I'm going to word it differently. You can't say the same, the same, same concept. concept. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so that's where that's where students go wrong because they're looking for the exact word on the exam. And so they skip a question that they practice because and they know it's good. They're know, good at yeah. it. And they say, oh, I didn't do that. So they go and they pick a question that they have no clue on, never practice, mm-hmm. and then they lose points. It doesn't change. Once you see pool in mind, you know we talk about spike yeah, versus gone. And then let's have a case, yeah. yeah. You know that. But then the whole chapter depends on how I word the question because they're different questions. can come from the same chapter. With the key words in every chapter that directs you as to what the examiner is looking for. So this says a common law. That when I say common law, what do I mean? Case. <coughs> case, case, case law, a common law. So you know when you read this question, and you're talking about standard of care, and the word, minute you hear standard of care, your mind goes directly to investments, and you know it requires case law. So if you answer this without a case, you've really lost two to three points out of ten, because it's telling you what. Explain what is the standard of care at common law. <clears throat> then, okay, so you just finished that part, yeah. right? Uh, now, what you can do you can do next? That was your paragraph one. Let me see what you can do with paragraph two. Paragraph two. What you can tell me? Okay, paragraph two. I would then explain. Um, we did all of that, right? Where your pen is, we did that already. Okay. So you have to learn how to put all of that quote from Lord Watson mm-hmm. in your own words. In my Yeah. Okay. So what are you going to tell me next? Okay, you want to try or you leave off? Um, let's start first. We did two chapters, eh? Yeah. So we are in the other end of Okay, what you what, what's, what's going to be the second paragraph? Okay, so the case as if he was, oh, this as if he was um, managing his own estate. That's the part of one, yeah. All mm-hmm. of this one, all of this okay. part, all the quote from Lord Watson. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's the case given the caveat that prudent means that you okay. remember an example I gave with a ten dollars for the phone. You have ten dollars, you would say you want to buy a phone, but when you're managing a trust, you have to think about. What the trust instrument says you should do. Is it in the best interest of the beneficiary? Is it in the best interest of the trust as a whole? Because you have what kind of beneficiaries from last week? Income and capital, capital, capital beneficiaries. And you have a duty to account. Okay. And out of this duty to account is two prongs. One is the right to information, which is the next chapter. And the chapter after that is legal nature of the that's how they all connect together. So I could give you a question on investments where your answer include not just his standard of care of duty to, to invest, but also his duty to account, the right to information of a beneficiary, 
and the beneficiary saw it. All in one question. So this duty here that you have, yeah. Which one? In this the red? Is a trustee, a trustee duty. Is that a part? Oh, that's, that's one. Here. That's one a. So you see, yeah. all that makes up one. Because she started out by just when she went straight to the case. Okay. Remember, I told you last week. Every time you answer a question, what is the duty of the trustee? Mm -hmm. It depends on how the question is worded. The first mm -hmm. chapters don't really refer to duty. Mm -hmm. Remember, the first chapter just speaks about different types of trust. Right. We'll go over that part when we do the review. Okay. For example, I'll show you how those questions are worded. Okay. okay. There's, there's no question, but that I normally put a simple question on, an easy question. Like types of on trust. Them or so types. you don't say, well, um, like, okay, let's say there's like 10 or 11, for example, that you wouldn't say explain 6 or 7 or something like that. It wouldn't be mm -hmm. like, so it wouldn't be that in that. No, in I, pick, I pick which ones. Oh, you pick which I ones, pick which ones I want to talk explain. about. Yeah. Oh, okay. So she wanted to go straight here. Remember what I said? If the question's referring to a trustee himself, mm -hmm. you must refer to the duty you're going to talk First. about. And so when you speak about standard of care, there are three duties. Protect and preserve, duty to invest, and to act prudently. I don't even start at all. <laughs> then you go into your case law. Now tell me what you're going to tell me next. Are you going blank? <laughs> I have two newbies, they can help you. Mm. I know these two from last week. Sunday now. That's you. What are you doing next? Sketch up well. We just got this stepped up. Naranda. Okay, what would you say? She did that already. Yeah, she can talk about that here. Remember that. now, see, you weren't here last week. It depends on the points I give the question. Okay. If I give this a 20 points, then she would expand more on what Lord Watson said. What does it mean to a trustee? If it's a 10 point question, you don't write that much. Mm -hmm. You just state the salient point. This is what is expected. But if it's a 20 or 25 point, you're going to expand. It's the same information, but you're going to take it and explain it more. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? So, what are you going to answer me for point two? That's the second point in your paragraph. So she been talking for 45 minutes. Okay, so, so we give yeah. her a break. Let's <laughs> get there. You could be thinking the same time mm -hmm. in case they don't come up with anything. Put um, something in our mind. Just make it up. Break, would you, would, you, would, you, would, you, would you talk about the second paragraph? Yeah, so would you mention the second this so, case here? No. No. You would no. Mention that. This, no this not part, for this question. There's oh. a part of this question, right? So all this in the block. Yes. This no, that's why I changed the color. Yeah, expected. Oh, just, yeah, I'm not the So if okay. we already spoke about what the, the, the duty, the, put the case in there, mm -hmm. we already, um, we need to explain what is, discuss what the standard of care is, like, in more detail. And then protection, whatever protection. Okay. Under, provided under law. This is protection mm -hmm. to, this is in terms of the trustee. Mm -hmm. and, and this standard of care. So you're beginning to think. Before you come to class, you need coffee. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and I read this in the dark and the heat last night. Yeah, yeah. I don't know exactly in the back there. Mm-hmm. Oh, sure. that My phone was on for four hours. Yeah. And I was sitting there reading this chapter and I said, Lord, help you know, I wait till daylight every morning for the same reason. As soon as the sun comes up, I just read it all again in the morning. I don't do it in the night. Okay, Naranda, your turn. Right. So let me see. No, you won't struggle. Let's go. <laughs> you was missing know, last week. I was thinking if you would just look at the ready thing. You're going to put this with the statue now. Yes, ma'am, you're right. Statue says, yes. So what does the statue say? I know. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> see? <laughs> Narrowed by statutory so provisions. The, yes. The protection on the law. Eh? So no, no, thing, no, no, no. Okay. This is a statement. Mm-hmm. So to discuss the standard of care, you have to discuss statutory, statutory. and case law. Right. So what's the statutory provision for investments? Statutory provision for investments. Investment for section four. Four powers of investment. So section four, just the act, nineteen ninety eight. Gives the trustees full power of investing and changing the changing investments at the end of the official agreement was absolutely entitled, which would be exercised at the discretion of the trustee in addition or subject to the provision within the trustee's agreement. But he's not exercising her power. This question isn't talking about exercising her power. So we move okay. to section five. Section five. There you go. Of the trustee. Um, so then you are right. So giants. when you're discussing the okay. standard of care expected of a trustee, this is the common law, and then you have what the, the, the trustee, trustee act states, okay. and it narrows it because it tells it, it gives them a scope or guidance as to how they need to exercise their discretion okay. when they are investing. You should know that it depends on how much the question is worth it. Plus more. What else we need for the protection? Section 13 yes. of the Trustee Amendment Act allows the trustee the protection of law for any liability of law occasioned by the trust by the trustee has acted on the instruction or directions of a power, power holder. Mm-hmm. And then we did power holder in chapter what, two or three? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you conclude. So, for instance, I probably have, like, I guess these would be considerations that a trustee, I mean, in cases where a trustee would be provided protection under the paragraph under section 13, mm-hmm. it has, like, considerations if they have properly discharged their obligations in regard to their selection of their appointment, would that be something that we add into or that's going too far? It depends. For this question, no. This is just a question just on the standard of case. That's it. 
If I wanted that, then I would have added the word consideration. Okay. That's why I'm saying the question could be worded in different ways mm -hmm. on the same chapter. So you see some people, if I put this question here, like how you were saying, they write a whole half a page on all the considerations. It's not asking you for that. It's asking you to explain what is the standard of care mm -hmm. in common law and in statute. And how does a trustee protect himself when he exercises his standard, his prudent standard of care as an ordinary man? How is he protected when he does that? That's all this question is asking him. We do believe it. No, we were so again. Just me in a different glass. <laughs> yeah. I think I may took it over here. Even if you know, even if you know the material, it's still a lot to write. Because if you got to write a case, if you got to write a, a section from one of the acts, and then you got an introduction, and you got a How many questions are going to be like that? What are you talking about? Sir? You asked her twice. Did. Yes. Uh, Didn't she ask me twice in class last week? Put yourself. I know here. I asked you the questions. Yes. I asked you what kind, and I know you say no more because I wasn't surprised because I thought about it twice. I know that uh -huh. was that. And I said I have not written the exam yet. Oh. Yeah, you did say that. Yes. Also, roughly, it don't be like normally a certain amount. No. No. Uh -huh. Because we're trying to figure out how we have worked this time, this three hours. Because none of these how many questions you have to answer? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because none of these questions could be, all of them could be like either short or long answer. Mm -hmm. So, just in terms of time management. Well, you know the ones that are only worth 10 points shouldn't take you that long. Very good. You have to know. So we have so how many questions we have to answer from So no, it might be set up that way. Right. Like how like how she was telling us before, mm -hmm. like how she had section one, two and three. So she might have said, Oh section one is couple of multiple choice, but I know that wasn't no, 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 section two answer. Section two is like short. Right. So short answers. 
So basically, it's showing on the system. Oh, so, so, so I follow the pattern from last, the last time I did it. You had two questions, two mandatory questions. Okay. Were twenty points each. Oh, yeah. And six ten point questions. And the six you had to answer all. No, you choose. You choose from the six? No, no there's more. Not, oh, six. you do six. I like that. Right. I think you should six it. <laughs> yeah. But then, like I say, No, we know it ain't gonna be easy. Yeah, it's not easy. But at least if we could choose. Yeah, you could choose. That's the yeah, mandatory. You have to. You have to. Some points you will know more than others. So, I prefer that. So, but 20 points, you know it's long. And it's 70 plus. So this question that you gave us last week. That's a ten point. That's a ten point question. Mm -hmm. But you you could see I could see and I could turn into a twenty point question. Yes, yeah. Easy, yeah. easy. Yeah. I can see. <laughs> Lisa, Lisa. No, last week. <laughs> yeah. She 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 saw that already. I can see and I could turn into a twenty point question. So it could be either way. But it's the same information. I was approaching it from the 20 point aspect. What you wrote? Four kind of things. Let me hear. First wasn't too bad. I I actually I attempted it twice. So on the first the first attempt, mm -hmm. I changed what I was writing. Okay, so tell me what you wrote. Okay, my introduction. Uh, my introduction is to oh, your honor, your honor, your honor, the appointment of a trustee can be made in the vivo or by the will. The vivo is reciting among the living, right? Or by will. Explain the appointment of new trustees and discuss the action the trustees should take, a trustee should take to preserve and protect the trust. That's five, you So my approach was, the first thing I did in my introduction was to explain what a, um, to be, a, just a small portion to say, to be a trustee, what is required, which is a person that has to be of sound mind, not mentally, and sound mind and not legally bankrupt. They must be of legal age, which is 18, because a minor cannot hold legal interest in land. A trustee may be appointed at the creation, even the creation of a trust. As a substitute, if another trustee dies, if they are retired or removed from the as a trustee, um, as an additional trustee to an existing trust. Uh, then I, in my second paragraph, I went on to talk about the power to appoint a trustee. Uh, in, the power to appoint a trustee is often in the provisions of the trustee deed or slash instrument and may be given to a certain person the trustee is to, to a certain person, the trustee or the set law may reserve the power to appoint otherwise the trust to appoint otherwise the trust the trust the set law oh otherwise the set law no longer unless the set law has appointed or has so, the power to appoint in the, within the trustee, um, if he doesn't, he no longer has the power or the right to remove, to retire or remove a trustee. So 
we have the option. We have the power to appoint the name the trustee. And I have a beneficiary who is nominated in the trustee um, to exercise the power to appoint may do so, even if his beneficial interest may, or may already be disposed of. And the appointment of a new trustee is normally made by a deed of appointment executed by the party. Normally in the case where a trustee has retired or a new trustee is added. New trustees may also be appointed by the surviving or continuing trust trustees or the personal representative. Beneficiaries who, who are of sound mind and legal capacity and, all, and who also are absolutely entitled to the property as a whole. The, sorry, the whole, the whole of the trust property may also appoint trustees to a trust. In, in an absence of an express power, Section 42.1 of the Trustee Act grants statutory power to appoint trustees. Um, however, the total number must not exceed four. Mm -hmm. And I went on to explain um, how the court mm -hmm. can appoint mm -hmm. the trustees in except exceptional circumstances. And I went to the Act, Section 48, where the Act, and basically the Act is saying if they are in, let's say, um, bankrupt. They, they look at extreme cases, for example. Mm -hmm. If there is a, a deed with a, with certain persons of where they can appoint or have the power, then the court wouldn't get involved. Right. But if in extreme circumstances, they will, um, if someone is bankrupt, if they're doing some illegal activity, you know, so they, they go on to explain, it. right, that they would step in mm -hmm. and appoint. So I... Um, Touch on that section. The section, section 48 and section 42, where the, the beneficiary can also um, appoint trustees to a trust. So it's two sections. One that explains. Yeah, but she has the body of it. She didn't put in the sections. Right. Oh, okay. And she so got the number. Remember, you mentioned at the end the number. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I explained um, in each case where. And who has the power, authority, according to the deed, or mm -hmm. whether it's it's not by deed. So I just explained those different sections. And then I went on to, I have a paragraph just explaining what, um, how they are, how the trustee is to protect and preserve the assets of the, the trust. Um, after being appointed, the trustee must ensure the provisions and protection of the trust assets by, and I am fully appointed, reviewing the, the, um, reviewing the trustee, becoming familiar with the terms of the trust, knowing the provisions of the trustee so that he is not in breach of trust action. Review trust accounts, notices, memorandum, trustee minutes, oh, etc. Have made up? Which, which part you talking about just now? That's the second part of the question. That's the one with the provisions and the, uh, yeah. That's the second part. Yeah, yeah that part, part. okay. I didn't know she'd move to the second part. Oh, I did. You was that? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the second yeah. part. Yeah, the second part, right. Yeah, after I explain who. And remember what I told when most people happen to most people when they answer these questions. What did I say? They leave with the second part. Leave the second part. Oh, no, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> It's a whole, whole page or not in the, yes. in, the book, in the chapter. And then um, confirm the trust instrument has been properly stamped, validated by the trust duty, ensure the trust property has So been if it's a 10 point, I don't expect the whole list. Just some. Some, some of it. Yeah, I don't think I didn't question, put everything. Then it's all one. I didn't. I, I just put yeah, more than like five, five or six. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, because you're doing it at home. But I mean, if you're in an exam, you know, you only go to what? No. The most important. I, I most did important. have a question for you on oh, yeah. and On page 44. Okay. Very last paragraph. It says. 
last or new trustees. Right. New trustees may be appointed not only by persons nominated in the trust instrument for purpose mm -hmm. of appointing new trustees, but also by the surviving mm -hmm. or continuing trustees for, of the or the personal representative of the last surviving or continuing trustee by interviewers trust only. Okay, so my mm -hmm. question is so is this telling me that if let's say I don't you 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 are a trustee and I don't have it in the trustee that you have the power to appoint. Because I know certain powers that you can reserve certain powers in the trustee. So if that is not let's say that is not present, do you are you still able to do that? I, I try to go to the court. No. So this what this say saying is the, okay. When you speak about a trustee, mm -hmm. a trustee can be a trustee in the mm -hmm. or by creation of right, right. But you can also have a trustee mm -hmm. in a will. Like like the like because the the the. the the actions of an administrator mm -hmm. is that like of a trustee. Okay. So that's what you're talking about continuing trustee. Oh, so if, I am a trustee like that. Yes, if I am a trustee mm -hmm. or executor okay. of this person's estate. Right. And if I die, the executor of my estate becomes the executor of the estate that I was doing before. Okay, oh, yeah. Say that again. Okay. It's a rule. Okay. It's a rule. Let me, let me again. If you are the executor of an estate mm -hmm. and then you die, mm -hmm. then the person who's executor of your estate becomes executor of okay, the one I was doing. Yes. Ah. So that's what they're saying. Yes. It's continuous. If you look at it, if you look at it from a pure trust, let's look at it. Yeah, look at it like pure trust. Saying. If you are a trustee, uh -huh. right? It depends on how the, the trust deed is worded. It can say you can appoint a trust, a, a new trustee, mm -hmm. or it can say the protector can a trust can appoint someone, or the beneficiaries can a trust can appoint someone. But when you see that continuing trustee. That is normally done under the administration of estates. Um, okay. Normally, it, 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 normally it, yeah, it keeps going. The it keeps going. It keeps going. Will going. say will, will yes. stipulate exactly mm -hmm. who is to be the the trustee, trustee, or if they have a power to appoint or remove. Exactly. Or okay. So that's yeah. really but important. the continuing trustee is more when you do the administration of estates okay. because it follows the chain. Okay. But forty eight was the part with the um with the and with the court if the court has to decide um, if the court has to appoint a new trustee in section forty eight of the trustee yeah. and forty two one is it is it the beneficiaries is a sign by a legal capacity. The age of 18, and they are absolutely entitled to the whole of the trust property. Yes, um, so, if this, if we have more than one beneficiary, and uh, let's say we have five beneficiaries, and so the trust property is going to be, let's say, split in equal shares, they can appoint. And what can they appoint collectively, or one of them just can't appoint? No, they love to do it collectively. Uh -huh. Okay, oh. all right. All right. So okay. since um 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 Santino kind of like kind of tried our camp, <laughs> I'm going to give me some answers. I see question written, so let me give what you have to say. Um, they probably need. Okay. Um, back on the question. So, the same principle, like, in order for in order for the termination of a trust, all the beneficiaries have to be of sound mind. Like, that has to be. So it is. Right. It's the same. 
principle that would apply in the point that I'm trusting you. Yeah. Remember, the, the, the rule of law doesn't change, you know. If you're a minor, you're a minor. That's it. No matter what law you are under, a minor is a minor. They can't make decisions. The Trust Minister has an important role to play in advising. Does come on the trust as an employee, or you just leave that up there? Oh no, that's come on the trust. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you read yours in the dark too? You are joking with you, honey. You are you are joking. I never. Because I know that's what Diane she she look at us for. Yes. Okay. Has an important role to play in, in advising the trustee with regard to his duty to invest. Mm -hmm. Explain the duties of the trust administrator in this role and the protection afforded to a trustee when he has discharged his obligations in the appointment That's of agents. That's a lot of Latin term. What? When you say Latin in there? The oh, oh, yeah. Art. Yeah. The, the, first line. Line. the trust administrator the has an important the, role to play. Explain the duties of the trust administrator. Yes, explain the duties of the trust administrator in this role. Your right idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the protection afforded <laughs> to a trustee mm -hmm. when he has discharged. His obligations in the appointment of agents. His obligations in the appointment of agents. So now you know it goes in tandem with the class from last week. What happened? Oh, no. Me and mm -hmm. You do? No, I took one. Oh. Okay. Need water? No, Okay, who was the campaign? You know, it's, it's more than one trust administrator. Mm -hmm. That's the question asked for you, though. Mm -hmm. So, we're preparing at the same time, almost the same format as the last, the question from last week, because he has to prepare, he has to do certain things to prepare this information mm -hmm. to provide to the trustee to the duty to invest. Yes. So that's the first thing. Yes. I remember that. that. You remember that. <laughs> so last week when we did it was general. We look at the general skills that are required right. and there's general the duties. Remember? And Rika was saying she needed to know a little bit more about the, the finance part and the investment part. Remember when she said it in class? Okay, so this question focus on if you were a trust administrator and your function 
was under the investment desk. What are your duties? It's not a general desk now. No. You're doing investments. What are your duties? So it says explain the duties of the trust administrator in carrying out this role here. Which means he is assisting the trustee with his duty to invest. Yeah. So you would have to find investments. So we would define it. Well, find you have to like part of this duty would be finding um investments that would be good or Yes. But and would you call that? I'll 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 put I'll put on the side here. I'll put your thought here. Okay. Before That's your thought. Before you get there, he has to see um the trust administrator would have to use a trustee to see exactly what what that say powers if if he if the trustee is actually has actually has the power to invest. Mm-hmm. And then after determining that, they can see what his duty would be to invest. So if he has, yeah, yeah, thoughts as you go. Of investment, the trustees' investment. Okay, that's what I was So the first thing you start off would be the trustees' duty yeah, to invest. Mm-hmm. Right. So I'm not sure. Okay, that's what come in. What? Oh, yeah, on page 75. Page 75? Yeah, I don't think so. A trustee must not invest no, in risky, risky yeah. or hazardous That's investments mm-hmm. unless, unless expressly so. provided in the trust. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. where I'll start. Okay, so you start there. Mm-hmm. That is common law. And then so I'll probably well pick one of the cases. Mm-hmm. So you can do common law, you can do statute. Yeah, you know, you know, case, you know, the part of it or whatever. Yes, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go with all two. You only need one. Yeah, one. How much points is it? So how much points do I have? <laughs> it depends. It could be a 10 points. <laughs> <laughs> so you know how much to allow it. <laughs> no, but when you, when you do your skeleton for your review, when it comes 10 or 20, you'll know what time we do the review. So when we do the review, based on the questions we've gone through and the chapters that I have done, uh-huh. you know exactly how to tailor it. Yeah, once you tell us if it's ten or ten. Exactly. <laughs> we know. Yeah, you'll know. You'll know. What I'm saying is, after the class, like last week, you already have your answer outlined for that question. Mm. So if I say that question is coming, even in a different way, yeah, it's coming you already know. Way, we know the if it's long, yeah. you already have it long. If it's short, you know you have to cut it in half. Okay. What is it? Do yeah. have up there? What are they? Common law. law. Oh, That's right. common law you were reading on that page. But you also could refer to the statute. If it's a long question, you can both. Okay. If it's a short question, you could use either one. Section five. So we can start with that Yeah, but here, that duty itself to invest, we're just looking at him carrying out his actions. His carrying out the trusted administrator carrying out his action, advising the trustee is based on what's outlined in Section 5. We know there's an overall duty. 
They'll be the one with the trustee's guidance on the exercise of the wrong investment or all lines of consideration of the trustee. No page one. Yeah, one, two, three. Put you in the top, but next. Can you find protection? No. Not yet. Okay. In the world. Um, um, I think based on what she's saying, the duties of the trust administrator. The duties of the trust administrator. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, they have to, like how, how they have um, all this written out. If it's 10 points, all you have to do is put section um, trustee's duty to invest according to section 5. That would be just that. Explain what it is. Okay, so you have to explain what it is regardless of 10 points or 25 points. Yeah, but if, it, but if it's a 20 point, you'll actually have the bullet it. Okay. Yeah. So you're just summarizing it. Okay. Okay, so that... What are you calling the Lord for? Huh? Okay, so what are the duties of the trust administrator so in advancing? That goes back to the general duties. Mm -mm. No, no, no we're talking about the duty to invest. It's right in that chapter. It's right here. Um, let's say trustees and no, that was mine. Trustees and investment duties. Uh, yes, you love it. Uh, yes, you change the wording of it. What does it say? Should um, trust minister should ensure that he reviews and so what's his duty? One to review. So, seven, 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 there you go. Okay. That's the students. Okay. Um, the last paragraph. You changed the wording. What? I mean, the general one? No, no, the general. The general one applies to the trust. A tr a, the duties of the trust administrator on a whole. On a whole. But then they have certain duties pertaining to investment. Yeah. Right, because this, this is an investment. He, this is an investment, so he would have certain duties. He would have to do it. To Different invest. from a general Different one. Different from the general. Those general ones apply always. All over. But see, and then too, you gotta look, you gotta pull out certain Keywords. points. Keywords. Yeah, you know how to break So when you see that, you know she's definitely talking about investment. investment. That's right. This one from last week. This is the best one. Yeah, I really one. like that question from last week. Which question? Right. Yeah, that was a good example. Which one? The one that we didn't go on? Oh, yeah. Which one? That the was the duties. Oh, that one. Yeah. That's always on this. Thanks. That's all. Okay. okay, that's one question. <laughs> That's one down. <laughs> one down. <laughs> I, I can get that voice. I'm looking for it. No, no, no. I'm not going to get it. No, you're not going to get it. It's always very well done. So, for the review, the ones that we did in class, if I select those, I don't go over those anymore. Because hmm? we would have done that. What do you mean? Oh, you mean the ones you have been interested in? No, we did that in class. For mm -hmm. well, almost mm -hmm. two hours. Mm -hmm. Remember that? That was three hours. Eh? How long we did that question? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the truth. Why is it important? Was it a good question? This, this, whatever, stop the trust. duties of the trust. No, that's no, that's, that's no, that's way back. No, yeah, that's the oh, this is trust trust administrator. Yeah, yeah. that's the one. That's the one. I have to remind her. I have to remind her today. Every remember. question that you answer, unless it has to do with the introductory part, all concern duties of a trustee. You must know all of the duties of a trustee. All of them. Find that trust administrator. For the trustee to appoint a trust administrator. 
So paragraph one of the unit of the trustee. So you will have nine on the duties of the trustee. Section two, I mean paragraph two, skills of a trust trustee um, as for a trust administrator. So for the beginning of this question you would say you would say uh, according to the section That's if you use common law. If you use common law, common law means case law. Yeah. So you're going to say the, the trustee's duty to invest is settled in Section 5 of the Trustee Act, and you have to give the most important points for this duty to invest. What does it say? Oh, yeah. It has to you don't become too prescriptive if it's a 10 point. Yeah. No, this is just telling you what it is. So you put this in your own So you have to say section five gives the trustee um, guidance on how to invest. And in particular, it says that you must consider these things. It's the same thing it says in common law, so you can do both. But if it's a 20 point question, you're going to say, What's in common law has been enshrined in our law? Okay, so we have the duties. What should we talk about next? Mm -hmm. You need a what? The homework? Oh, those two days. Yeah. I, every day I go home to do it. Light off. Yeah. I I come home to go study and they do one full. And they turn it off so early. I leave when you're ready so I can leave. Because even like, if you turn on your light without air, it's just like a function. It's just miserable. Like you try yeah. to, you can't to concentrate. leave. No. It's too hard. And then by the time I, I, you come back on, I started the okay. question yeah. and I wrote a whole day every day. And, day. Day. and, and, day. Day. and then day. after it come back on, mm -hmm. I start over again. And I do it was a different approach. And I said, listen, if you ain't got to do this, and you are comfortable, and you can't take straight. So we need to talk about it. So we would go on now to, to think about the protection afforded to a trustee. And the protection afforded to a trustee when he has established his obligations in the appointment we find protection yeah. of agents. Okay. okay. So if he appoints this basically if he appoints someone to do something for him, like an agent. He has no choice under his duty to invest. Right. He has to invest. 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 Such trustee has acted in the instructions of the direction of the direction from a power holder with responsibility for the The with regard to the selection of the investment advisor and the continuing supervision of such advisors to ensure that such agents are going to be able to get a read. I'm going to read the section 13 and to see what all they say. 
No, that's the amendment. That has to do with a power holder. Right. So that ain't the that 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 next paragraph. It's still either four or five, right? No, no. no we no, have to that. speak to like the agents and whoever you... Four speaks just to the pure duty to invest. Five speaks to yes. the narrowing and of the provision. Six. Section six. six. are not six. only empowered to select certain persons to provide investment and advice and expertise to the trust provider that has the requisite knowledge, experience, and skill. Okay, that's what we're talking about. Also, we protected under the law for any loss suffered by the trust in relying on the advice of the selected investment advisor. Right. So, it's another so section you need with section six. Section six. And after section six, then they're going into section 13 of the amendment. Yeah, I don't know where we wouldn't just the notes. You gotta read more. Yeah, no, my told you all last night to read the, the actual act. Yeah, yeah, because some of the things that the act has in it, when you read the section, it ain't in the book. That's why I say to read the act. Yeah. 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 That. <laughs> oh, section 30. What you, what you are for? Oh, Jesus. That's all you're going to do right now. Page, page is turning, right? No, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> there you go. What I'm saying is you don't need to bring it because if you have a review, you know exactly what you need. Okay, so section 30. Mm -hmm. Trustees or personal representatives may instead of acting personally employ and pay an agent, yes. whether a counsel or an attorney, foreign lawyer, banker, stockholder, investment advisor, investment manager, or other person to give advice, transact any business, or do any act required to be transacted or done in the execution of the trust, mm -hmm. of or the administration mm -hmm. of the testators or intestates mm -hmm. estate, including the receipt and payment of money. There you go. So that's the statutory provision that speaks about his obligation. So, how is he then protected after he is employed agents? How is he protected? Okay, so that means not as easy as you do, are they? But it's all there. Yes, it there. The section. The one. The same piece that I read. The same piece that I read. Where are you? Where it says. Um, we'll come to under section 6 on um, page 76 at the bottom paragraph. Mm -hmm. That talks a bit about protection. Yeah, but when you when you would explain 6 and 30, 6 and 30, for a trustee to, to get advice and to employ an agent, he I has to it. do certain things. He has to make sure they have the right, so it's on page seventy-seven. That's six. Right. That's what the section says. Section six is all about. Right. Right. Page seventy-seven. You can just go hire anybody. Right. Right. It says on page seventy-seven. So that explains these two. Right. They so, would only be afforded such protections if they are properly discharged their obligation with uh -huh. regard to their selection and appointment. So, right. So this is discharge and obligation. Okay. That's this. And I want protection. Give me protection. Okay. You gave it to me before. Uh, that's you no, that's power holder. No, that's the power holder. Yeah. You gave it to me before, you know. You yes. Three and four or five. He is protected by the law. Okay. get three hours for this exam, you know. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, hold on now. Protection against liability and respect, no. Protection by means of protection has not been noticed. Okay. 
Once he talks to your point, he may seek protection against either the two or suffer by your trust due to actions of the spirit parties. The trustee must ensure that proper investment objectives are made and an investment strategy is created to invest trust properly for a specific trust that he is administering. This dies into this. To the duties? Don't go to the duties. They tie in. They're roughly the same. It's just at a different level. Are you still trying to find it? There's nothing to the same. No? Mm-hmm. In, the, in the arc of it? That's what I was reading. That's what I said. I said, and I just said to you, you read it already. Oh, okay. Let's Let's do the same, same second arc. Yes. yes. I read it to you. So, oh, that, this isn't in the arc. No. 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 Would you see how they all go put them into, together? They all go together. <laughs> so you see? Yeah, right on. Uh huh. Go review it. Yeah. And then their continuing supervision comes from what this person does. Because uh-huh. that's the part of their duty to look at the statements. Make sure then, the statements are accurate. Make sure they get them on time. Getting any advice to see whether or not the investments need to change. Looking at the markets. Okay, hold on, hold on. Sell. We have some investments in there. Sell oh, this. Give it. advice, yeah. right? That comes down. Yeah. Which one? Okay. Okay. The second round. Yeah. So that means four. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, not, that's fine. That's all I take. Um, the charge management. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, it's a different question. Okay. I know you said that's number four, right? But where that old person is. <laughs> <laughs> I understand what you're saying. <laughs> you understand? Protection is afforded when the trustee has carefully and skillfully selected or appointed agents and then you give an example broker advisor and he monitors the investments with the assistance <laughs> of the trust administrator whose duty is to, to uh, come here. revise, I mean, yeah, review, advise. Uh, all of that. Okay. It just links it all back together. Okay. And that's why they have this duty. For the, so the trustee can execute his duty and so he goes through all of this and carry it to the trust, yeah. trust committee. Yes. And then so when the trust committee says, guess yeah. what? All of these stocks we have in this bond, we have to sell them okay. and invest them in this. Uh-huh. That would be based upon what this person His recommendation. Okay. Yes. Based upon the agent that have been employed. And the only way he's protected is if he made sure that whoever agent or broker they did an agreement with has the requisite skills to carry out the function. Okay. Because if he dropped that ball, then it's all on him. Yeah. Well, it's it's on everybody. Yeah. But everybody. Okay. Is that an example? That and right he, here the and he yeah. monitors the investments with the assistance of the trust administrator, whose duty is to, and you explain it. So really, at the end, you tie all of this together. (laughs) (laughs) What? 
That's rough. Yeah, my entire now. She came in here with a burst of energy. Yeah, she should. No, no, no. The thing about it is, you should have been just for the beginner. Tell me you're very useless. Yeah. At the last. You understand? Yeah. Why? But this ties in all the chapters from before. Yeah, you know, but then your yeah, way of before. doing it yeah. is different. It's it didn't feel like this. No. Right. Especially at the beginning. It made us feel like. Please. 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 I tried the water. <laughs> 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 that is safe. You wasn't here. You wasn't here. Yeah. And you was here. I tried the water. But you always were ready. You still like. You're saying whatever. I can take it off. I'm actually doing it. Hold on. I can't take it off. Hold on. 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 Just travel. Yeah, basically, what is a trial? Uh, incorporated trust. So. Yeah, but that, your, your method. You get it. Right. You get it. 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 Like, so it would have been, we would have been right. more prepared. I'm pretty like, sure we wasn't getting that. We were saying that. Because, like, when you finish, we need to just go to the back and do the questions. That's it. And right. then that's it. We didn't have structured questions. So, yeah, yeah I only had, only with um, Miss Dawson, she gave us some stuff and we ran over and she. But other than that. Yeah. But she still didn't do it. Like, how are you doing? But she gave you some questions. Yeah, she did. And some things. And most of those cases in the in the in the um, book, you can find them online. Ready? Mm-hmm. 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 One. Oh, one. Yeah. What day that is again? We still on this. Monday. 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 Oh yeah, you only fourteen, Sasha. Okay. There's no fourteen. Yeah, okay. no, no, the That's the review. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. So we do one twelve today. Yeah. If we don't do twelve today, today we do twelve next week. Okay. Okay. We just leave it all in. Yeah. Okay. Twelve is not that long. So I get. No. There's not much talking because okay. we should have read. I read as much as I could before before night fell. Please. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? You ain't read to understand, though. I read. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I read to really understand. I said, let me get some reading in. Before the light, I mean, before it gets dark outside. If you read and you write, and like it helps you to. Are you looking for another question? I have one more. I have one too. What? I think there's a case that I need to help. You need to understand. What's that? Three bundle Three bundle One and two. Three Vandivals Trust number two. Okay, I'll bring it. Okay, so we can go to that mm-hmm. place because I have yeah. three Vandivals. Mm-hmm. Number two. Uh, just one I two. just want to make sure I understand that properly in case that comes up. Yeah, that, 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 that a lot going on. Yeah, That's the one there. One, mm-hmm. and one, two, and three. Yeah. Well, they were saying that he didn't, um, his intention was unclear because he did not state who the beneficiary was supposed to be mm-hmm. specifically. And that's when the tax people was coming out in to defend the pay taxes because they were saying that, um, that said, I guess, was improperly done. If you read it, he decided he wanted to be as a beneficiary. That was the first thing. Mm-hmm. 
And the second one, they still tell them again that, um, that he has to pay again. That second one is the one where I was trying to, to wrap my head around like, as to why they mm -hmm. came back and him to pay taxes. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So you already gone over the home with us now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know I just write down what I write. Mm -hmm. I just answer and then I go on to it for the family and I was on the right track. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I actually look at the book. But I try to go with it. In exercising his power of investment, a trustee must ensure that his moral values does not interfere with his obligations to act in the best interest of the trust and the beneficiaries. Explained. You don't normally do it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. At the beginning. Does it? Why not do the whole thing? But hold on, if you do part two, if you want to do a portion of that, yeah. who writes this down for part two? I do. No. Why? Because you get different perspective. You, know, you love this. Yes, but people, that's not. It's so not you don't do the end, do? Sometimes. I only do one part two. She tell you she should be at the beginning. There's no guarantee. No. I mean, if she started us off good, at least you love. That's all it. Well, I'm thinking you're supposed to do one and do it. <laughs> Well, yeah, one and two, so and, uh, and two has two parts. What do you mean, love two parts? There's two parts. So mm -hmm. you have, like, you have this is one part. Mm -hmm. The next one has two parts like this. So you gotta do the part, two different examinations. Uh -huh. That's what you mean. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm not saying it plain English. Would you be okay? Just like does not interfere with his obligations to act. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Let's do it again, again, eh? Yep. Powers. Yeah. Look at your headache. I know. <laughs> 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 so, uh, how she, like, how she looked, oh, when she was there, she came ready for me. <laughs> do we need section two? <laughs> what? Section two. In order to complete this, this certificate, eh? Yeah. 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 It's a complete thing. 
<laughs> Caroline, why you being? <laughs> what wrong would you? <laughs> we had fun last week. Why are you? Why are you having issues today? This is the easy part. I was not happy. If I pass this one, if I put this on my resume, let's say Beverly. Yeah, you know, if I pass this, trust one. Yeah, trust one. Yeah, trust one. Okay, then just trust two. Two. I know I mess with that. Why? I'm probably mess with the next year going to know. When you say that starts in September, right after the summer. Yeah, right after. So, so we put two glo- two classes together. So it was the class before you all. Oh, what are you doing? Trust one, and then you all trust one, and you put the two together. And you put trust two. Oh, okay. It's a bigger class. Yeah. So how long that run? From end of February. Yeah. And that's only for one. And it's two parts, eh? Mm-hmm. And one until the end of February. So we run it close, yeah. You can go past. No, one and two. I know you go past. It. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the right so you say one and two is in that time yeah, frame. Uh-huh. So when do you set the exam for one? There's a t- t- when you get the schedule, you'll see it'll the be a break uh-huh. mm-hmm. and then there's a week. Do that one, it's and then you got the next Saturday one in a week. So step program is five steps to it, and this is what two of us. So that is one or one or two. One of them. Okay. Well, who who do this one? Then I'll let you all go. So we'll do we'll do beneficiaries and breach of trust. Next week, yeah. So that means we have no time next week to review. The Monday. But we're supposed to be with reviewing some of the next class on Monday. On Monday. <laughs> I was the blind. Yeah, but I don't tell her how I read you. Hey, it's great. You look up this young lady. Good one right now. How do I say review is conducted? You don't go over yes, the I questions go along, huh? would be already done. The way I know before that. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go over the chapter. Reading the chapter. Yeah. What? <coughs> I don't go over the chapters. We have to read the chapters. We have to read the chapters. The life, they are reviewing. We can read so over the chapters. She all she does is go over the like questions. She is. That's what she yeah. throw that question. That's how she's doing now. Yeah. But not the ones that I've done already. Right. How many questions have we done? So I can know I have that's how much we have time for. Yeah. Whatever we have time for. Right Can now. you at least give us like one question um, of everything that might be on the exam? Like how we have like, what is it, like three or less questions just now? No. Do you want an example of a 20 point question? Because I do. You'll get that on the revision. Mm-hmm. What the example of a 20 point question? Mm-hmm. Oh, we can have that today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have right a here. question like, you know, you get like a one question that that deals with trust administration, one question that deals with the powers, next question deals with investments, next question. Like you get all the questions. Okay. So, so I, say, I and so say if I chose one of these today. <coughs> from, from these ones. From these ones, mm-hmm. from this top, this chapter today. Yeah. Let's say I choose one of these or two of these. When I do the review, I will say there are questions on investments relating to standard of care. Mm-hmm. And I leave that like that. Because we've already worked it. Oh, in the, in the review. Yeah, okay. already, I'm not so going to that know no. that you will have to review one of those. So the ones that we haven't done, then we go through those to see if you understand what it is we're looking for. So let's answer this one. How would you answer that? Isn't the more um, would, we the bring in, yeah. mm-hmm. would we bring in the spike weight versus gone? Yes, yeah, so you start off with yeah, I 
Mm -hmm. And two. What you want? Section four. Um. Four. Um, this is general duty to invest. So we can throw in this case. Which one? Um. Which case you drove in? Already drove in a case. Oh, Oh, yeah, already have that. Yeah. You say, you say, oh, um, we get yours either or are you saying no. both? This is standard of care yeah, standard when of you care. talk about moral values. Oh, moral values. Okay. Cowan versus Cowan. Okay. You say section four of the trustee act. Mm hmm. Which What's the protection? Protection is protection against a breach will have to do with when you take over the liability of the Get advice. Oh, yeah. Am I reading that right now? Yeah. Legal advice. Nestle versus Nashville. Okay. Section six in the statute. See how easy that was? Yeah, that one was really easy. Now I can give that the same question to you in a scenario where the trustees are trying to exercise their moral values and not doing what's in the best interest of the trust. Something like that question that we had with the people name and yes, yes. Okay. it's the same question. Okay. Same question, just worded just a different way. Nestle versus National National West 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 Bank. Bank. Oh, that one was easy. Was it hard, right? No, not that one. That wasn't the one. <laughs> you know why, right? Because we've already done all the other ones. What's the wrong? I suggested that change this the type of question and at the end of this unit because they're very misleading. No, but the questions at the end are not made for exam purposes. No, but I'm saying anything just for understanding. Okay, so someone needs to get okay, they need to help person to get questions. No, but these are exam questions. No, but right. I mean, like, if you have, like, a question for, like, Not that or case, like, I think it's I mean, more, you have, like, the spin of the cases and stuff, mm -hmm. but if it was something like, more tangible. Just, like, one question something you could explain understand. or yeah. something so you can know that you probably understand the unit and you can apply, like, the statute in cases. I think, yes, yeah, it's, like it's, it's the approach yeah. to how to really yeah, how to yeah. set up the, the, and our response. A particular type of exam question, not to say but that. I that's open, you know, the different lecturers. Mm -hmm. So it depends on, like, how um, what you said, what um, Dawson did. She just gave you a past exam question on her section. She could have written one out of her head. Because at the end of the day, when I write the exam, I'll say, Do you have any questions you want to contribute? She could create one if she wants to. Okay. Uh, you see? But every time I write an exam, it's a new exam. Brand new. Yeah, so you could like recycle like a whole like more questions that you know are coming back and then just like But it won't 
but it won't help you in answering the and question for the way. exam. Yeah. Okay. I understand what you're saying. I understand. So if you get a, a it whole exam, it will be the same on response and time. Yeah, but if you of, if you I find students tend to stick to that question. To stick to that question. Mm-hmm. And the question will ask you something similarly, but not the same. And then you go back to that response. Mm-hmm. And, okay. I and understand. I've seen okay. it. Okay. And then they fail. Twice. Three times. Because they're not getting the message. Oh. It's not the same thing. Because they just regurgitate what they see. Okay, these are the consideration they drop them in, but it's not asking for that. Sometimes the question has three different points in it. And I'm looking for the three points. And not just one. Because they didn't know that when they did their review, it had just one. And that's all they're giving you. They don't have the rest. Wow. So every time when I write it, I write it different. I word it differently. And I could pull something from a different chapter and twist it together to see if you really understand. So you just have to know how to break down your question. Yes. You have to break it down and answer it. Okay. Okay, so let me give you homework. We have lots already. No, you don't. Yes, we do. Come to want to read. So we'll have to go into a section, I mean, to help for this. What? This question on the board? Question? No. Okay. Once you've answered that, you've answered the whole chapter. Of what chapter? What chapter? Twelve. Right, that's what I said. We got the right. I know that came from twelve because I remember reading about it. Two beneficiaries have requested information regarding the bubble gum trust. In particular, they would like to know what information they are permitted to view to confirm whether the trust is being administered properly. Discuss the historical perspective of the beneficiary's right to information and the requirements under Bahamian law. But that's what you say, you say chapter 12? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what you gotta read. Oh, you mean in terms of beneficiaries? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, so. Sorry. Under Bahamian law? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 
stalk them. Yeah, but they, they speak about they are running to certain things and they are running out to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we came up with one that's getting involved. Yeah. But this it's one, it's um, just, when you go in 12, it actually gives you more information. Expands it a little bit right. more. But yeah, they all go together. It yeah. talks about what they can get and right. what they have to pay for. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. What I want you to do. Let's get this. We, we can boss this as well. We just got to lock everything up for the next two weeks. What I want you to give me over the voice of energy. <laughs> read my paper, read my paper, I work hard on this, read my paper. <laughs> now all I mean like every energy drain out of her. <laughs> well listen, I know after I down. Well, I need a drink. That's my first thing I definitely enjoy myself. Oh, they put it like that. I'm like it. <laughs> <laughs> Four minute results after after that. Anyway. Wow, what are you so? Thank you, Shane. 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 Thank you, no, I'm not going over. You tell me what you wrote. I'm going to share the word. Next week. You'll get us on my card. I want you to write it. Okay. A question on 30. You mean, no, I'm in this. I'm in the old question. Did you write it? No. Everybody did. So that's two more. Yes. Yes. Thank you. 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 Um, let me find it for you. So I can take this off the board, right? Everybody has this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 May be made into vehicles. Into vehicles. Oh, I will. Write it down because I know you always come. Clean the appointment of new trustees. May be made into vehicles. I don't understand why y'all find it so difficult. No, I mean, I, I, I just didn't have a chance to do it, but I think I know what to do. I, I know I can write as many words as matter for me, but... That's the action. Trusty should be.